So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct angle 28. So let me write it here. Angle 28 and the half degrees. So this is what I'm going to be showing you in this video. Now remember that this is construction, not, um, you know, you're not asked to draw. So the need of protractor, will, you're not going to be using protractor at all. So it's just going to be your compass, your ruler, and your pencil. So, and in doing this, um, basic knowledge of um, angles like angle 30, angle 40, 45, angle 90, you know, will be of help, you know, in constructing angles like this. So how do we go ahead and get an angle 28 and a half degrees? Now, for us to get this angle, if we have 28 and a half degree, and if we should multiply it by 3, so that's going to be giving us 225 degrees. Exactly. So this is just some of the calculations that you might have to do in getting when you are asked to construct angles like this. Now, if you look at angle 20, 225 degrees, it's just like having 180 degrees plus 45. Exactly. And remember that angle 180 is angle on a straight line. Angle 45 is one of the basic angles. It's quite easy. Once you have the angle 90 and then you bisect it, you divide into two, you get your 45. Now, once we are able to achieve angle 225 using this method, 180 plus 45, the next thing we are going to do is, we are, in, remember we got 225 degree by multiplying 28 and the half times, I mean, times, um, multiplying it three times, multiplying by two thrice. So that means we did, what we did was um, 28.5, times 2 times 2 times 2 and that gives us um, 225 so if we are able to get 225 degree by construction we can as well bisect it three times bisect this angle three times to give us 28 and the half so that's just a mathematical explanation now let's get to the real practical work so to get started I'm going to be drawing my straight line so so here is my straight line and then on that line I'm going to be drawing a semicircle. So now what I want to do now is a semicircle and then my semicircle, um, uh, since we are dealing with a very angle that is over 180, I'm going to draw um, a full circle, not a semicircle this time around. And don't forget, when you are doing your own construction, make sure that all these lines are with faint line. Exactly. Make sure they are very, they are, they are very faint. You know, but I'm going to be making them bold so that you can see all of this line properly. So let me take note of this point where the circle is touching my straight line. So let me call this point O. Let me call this point A. And let me call this point B. Alright, so the next thing I want to draw is a perpendicular line. So I bring in my compass at any convenient length. So from point, um, so from point B, I'm going to be drawing an arc. So I will like my arc to be downward, and then with the same length, I'll come to point A. I'll draw an arc. So. I'm going to draw a line from point O, which is the center of the circle, to pass through the point of intersection of this axe. I haven't gotten that. So what you see that this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees. Remember, I want to get 280 from this top here. This is first, let's call this first, second, uh, first quadrant, second quadrant, the third and the fourth. So that means our angle 225 will fall on the third quadrant. So that's why I'm drawing my... Uh, perpendicular line at this side, not at the top, exactly. So now uh, um, we already know that uh, angle 225 degree will be on the third quadrant. So this way I'm going to be bisecting this 90 degrees. I'll bisect it to give us 45. So where it is touching, where this line I've just drawn is touching the semicircle. I'm going to take note of it. So I bring back my my compass. So let me call this point point C. So I place my compass at point C, I'll draw an arc. With the same length, I'll come to point A, I'll draw an arc. So take note of the point of intersection, which is right here. So from that point, I'm going to draw So I'm going to draw a straight line. 
that will pass through the a point of intersection to point O. Alright, so with this now, we already have our angle 225 degrees, which is, uh, let me just use my pen, this is this angle here. Exactly, so this is our 225 degrees. So if you are even asked to draw, construct an angle 225 degrees, so this is how you go about it. <coughs> now, the next thing for us is to bisect this angle. So let me take note of those points. So let me call that point, uh, point, point D. So that means we have angle... Um, this angle is like this. That's DOB. Angle DOB to be equals to 225. So let's bisect it. I'm going to be div um, dividing it into halves. So I bring in my compass. So from point D, I'll draw an arc. With the same length, I'll come to point B. I'll draw another arc. Now, right here is their point of intersection, which is which is the air. Okay, so from there, I'm going to draw a straight line. So what we've just done now is to, we've been able to divide angle 225 into two equal parts. So, so that means we are having this part here to be 112 and a half degrees. So what do we do again? We we'll divide this angle again. So this is for right here. So let me call that point point E. Exactly. So angle EOB, which is um, angle EOB, which is 112.5 or half degrees. So we are going to bisect this angle again. So the same process. I bring in my compass, place it on point B. So I'm going to draw an arc. So with the same length, I'll go to point E and draw an arc. So this place, this right here is a point of intersection. I'll join it to point O. I'll join it to point O. So let me take note of this place here. Yeah, so this is, let me call this point F. So now we already have angle FOB, which is uh, 112.5, uh, and they are divided by 2, and that is um, 56.25 degrees, exactly. So the next thing is now we are going to bisect angle FOB, exactly. And if by the time we bisect angle FOB, we are going to be having... a uh, required angle. So I bring in my compass again, I place it on point B, I'll draw an arc, with the same length I'll come to point F and draw an arc. So from the point of intersection which is right here, and don't forget all these lines that we are drawing. It should be faint line like i said so this is the line that will give us the angle so once you have this then we have our required angle we have our required angle and uh, which is angle um is actually um the, i think i've been making a mistake in what i've been saying since this angle um 28 1 over 8 not 28 1 over 2 so it should be 28 1 over 8 so all the process are still the same thing exactly all the process are still the same thing. So, so all the places I said I'm 28 and the half is actually 28, um, 1 over 8, and which is 28.125 degrees exactly. So this is a required angle exactly. So this is the step exactly. If you should have um, 28, so if you have 28.125, you should multiply it by 2 and times 2 and then times 2 is going to give you um, 225. Um, degrees then once you divide it again because getting this is much more easier like I said you just go to the third quadrant and get your angle 45 and then you start to bisect it um, three times then you get angle 28 1 over 8 so that is it for this video like I said make sure when you are constructing yours all of these lines they are faint lines the only lines that should be visible is this and this as the line showing the angles exactly 
So, um, so you can also know how to construct other angles like this, like angle 3 and a half, angle 78, 3 quarters, 37 and a half, and the likes. Kindly check the playlist on technical drawing there. I've done videos on those angles. And if you have any questions or any comments, just leave them in the comment section below. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to PA Academy. Also check out our website, paacademy.co. And I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.